Hi everyone, welcome to another Face Paint Forum Shop tutorial. I'm Elizabeth Gale and I'm going to paint a llama eye design today. So to get started I've loaded up a three quarter inch flat brush with a one stroke which is from DFX and it's called Tropics. And to make the eyeshadow part, starting in the corner of the eye, just pressing down and then flicking up to a nice point. And then the same on the top of the forehead. So if you mark out roughly where you want your swirl to end, which is just going to be, just going to point out there, just underneath uh, where the eye shadow ends and then press down on the forehead and swirl it around just underneath to the corner of the eye. Then to create the llama head I'm using a one stroke which is from Global and it's called Bear Hug and a half inch angled brush. I'm just making the round shape first for the llama and then his neck. Follow it all the way around, you can keep going over it until you get it nice and uh, the shape that you want. And then to make him a little bit more fuzzy, just going to go back over the edges again and wiggle the brush in and out. Make him look like he's got a bit of a furry face. And I've loaded up a number two uh, low Cornell gold grip brush and this is DFX black. And I'm just going to do some loops starting on the top of your one stroke swirl. Just connect it together to the eye part. And then almost like a zigzag underneath the neck part as well. and then finish it off at the top all the way to the end and this is going to be the string for the bunting that's going to go around the llama. And I've got a little filbert brush and it's got some uh, superstar rose gold on it. Any kind of pink would do really and then just the little bits for the ears and this little round muzzly face bit. <laughs> And these are uh, booth stencils, which are on offer at the moment at the shop. So any order, you get a free stencil set. And it's these mermaid stencils at the moment. And I'm just using the round dots for this design. So uh, I've got a, a finger dobber with some white DFX. And I'm using these dots almost as like little lights in the background. This llama's at a little fiesta, little party. <laughs> So it doesn't matter if they, some are faded, some are brighter, almost looks better like that. And place some at the bottom as well, because that connects the bottom part of the design with the top part. And also just nice to put a little bit on the corner of the eyeshadow as well. And I'm just going to outline the llama head um, with some DFX black and a number two brush. It doesn't have to be 
really neat because he's got quite fuzzy fuzzy fur so you just wiggle the brush around the edge but you could leave this off if you wanted to make it quicker you could just leave him because the one stroke actually is quite dark at the edge anyway and then two little snouty bits for his nose Go around the edge of the muzzle. And a little mouth area. And two little eyes with some little eyelashes on each one. And then to do the bunting bits, I've got a number four local nail brush and I'm just doing some dots just to mark out where I'm going to do the little tassels. So little dots and then just some little flicks down on each one. These don't have to be neat, they can be really quick. And this colour is a superstar colour and it's poison green. And then I've got another superstar colour which is cyclamen. And the same again, I'm just placing some dots uh, where I want the pink to go. And then just the same again, flicks down. And the same again in another blue. And then this blue is Magic Blue by Superstar. And if you wanted to make it quicker, you could just do all of the um, tassels in the same colour, or just do them all in white would look nice as well, because that would stand out over the one stroke. And then the last colour is yellow, also by Superstar. I'm a big Superstar fan. <laughs> And just filling in where I've got um, spaces where I haven't got much colour. When I was still painting before we had to stop because of Covid, um, I used to get quite a lot of requests for llamas and alpacas. Um, seem to be quite trendy at the moment, I'm not quite sure where that's come from. <laughs> Along with avocados as well, that was another one. Maybe I'll paint an avocado video next. Let me know if you in the comments if you want to see an avocado tutorial. <laughs> and then to finish off, I'm just going to give the llama head a few little highlights on his ears, uh, with some around his muzzle and in his neck, and on the furry bit on the right where the light would shine. And there you have the finished design. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial today. And don't forget to check out Face Paint Forum Shop for all these supplies and many more tutorials. Thanks again. Bye.